Hi everyone, in the previous lessons, we covered the most important factors that qualify a supply or demand zone, such as the strength of the move, the freshness of the zone, the breakout of previous support and resistance. In this lesson, we will cover the risk to reward ratio. This criterion is the most important one and you should take it into account before you decide whether to trade the supply and demand zone or not. So once you identify a supply or a demand zone, you have to make sure that the zone offers at least 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio. So what do I mean by 2 to 1 reward to risk ratio? I mean that the amount of pips or money that the trade allows you to win should be at least twice the amount of pips or money that you want to risk. In other words, your profit should be at least twice your risk. Let me give you an example just to help you understand what I'm talking about. This is the US dollar, Canadian dollar for our chart. This is rally base drop supply zone. The basin candle is this doji candlestick. So to draw the zone, you draw the proximal line at the lower shadow and the distant line at the upper shadow to get this potential supply zone. This zone is your risk. I mean the pips between the distant line and the proximal line is your risk. Because when the market retraced back to test the zone and when you get a good entry signal, you will enter the market and you will place your stop loss just above the distal line. The reward is the distance between the proximal line and the profit target. In this example, your profit target is the support level. You know, we are not trying to calculate the risk to reward ratio. We are trying to compare between the risk and the reward that this zone offers. As you can see, this supply zone offers 5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. Look at another example. This is the Aussie US dollar for our chart. And this is a drop base drop supply zone. Let's evaluate the quality of the zone. As you can see, the move is quick and strong. The zone is fresh and the previous support level is broken. So right now, everything is all right. But what about the risk to reward ratio? To evaluate the risk to reward ratio, you should draw the zone. As you can see, this pin bar is the basin candle. So to draw the zone, you draw the proximal line at the close of the candle and the distal line at the upper shadow. So this is our risk. So what is the profit target? The profit target is always the next support level. So the reward is the distance between the proximal line and the profit target. Now you can clearly compare the risk to reward ratio. So it's obvious that this zone has a good risk to reward ratio. Look at another example. This is the pound Swiss franc daily chart. This is the drop base Rally demand zone. Let's evaluate the zone. As you can see, the move is quick and strong. The candles are big. The zone is fresh because it has not yet been tested. The previous resistance level is broken. To evaluate the risk to reward ratio, you should draw the demand zone. So the basin candle, as you can see, is this person pattern. To draw the zone, you draw the proximal line at the close of the second candle and the distant line at the lower shadow. So this is the demand zone and this is approximately our risk. Our profit target is this resistance level. So the distance between the distant line and the proximal line is our approximate risk and the distance between the proximal line and the profit target is our approximate reward. So this trade opportunity, as you can see, offers approximately more than 6 to 1 reward to risk ratio. The risk to reward ratio is an important concept. 
We will cover it in detail in the trading tactics section. Now I want you to open your charts, identify supply and demand zones, evaluate the quality of the zones, and evaluate the risk to reward ratio. See you in the next lesson.